ketones and there i have done pass the nomenclature of the aldehydes and i have done the uh, nomenclature of aldehydes and ketones can you hear me hello yes sir right. so now i'll briefly discuss yes, about sir. the isomerism in aldehydes and ketones huh? isomerism in aldehydes and ketones isomerism means we are going to discuss structural isomerism not this optical structural isomerism Okay, so it shows chain isomerism, nuclear or chain. Suppose I have to get this. This is butanol. See, I did not write one here because. LDH always first carbon is LDH. Okay, so for that I don't have to write one. Now, see this. So this is what one, two, three. So it is two methyl. Similarly, if I have taken this one, then oh, sorry. Wait. One, two, three, four. Right. So it should be no, no, I'm going for keto. Sorry, here. Yeah. Okay. So it is one, two, three, four, five. So it is pentan two four. And this is one, two, three, four. So it is three methyl. Butan two. So this is for LDH. And this is for so see you can have so you can have nuclear or chain isomerism both in LDH and ketones. Okay. Second. <clears throat> Positional isomerism. Positional isomerism. <clears throat> so in this case, positional isomerism is generally, generally being shown by the ketones because aldehydes, that functional group has to be always the first and the last carbon. So LDH functional group will not move, substitution will move. Okay. So in that case, say I have taken here C C C H C H2. This. So it is one, two, three, four. Three methyl. Glutena. This. This is two methyl 
दूर करना ओके देन इट कैन सपोज इज एन अनसेचुरेटेड कीटोन डबल पेन आल्सो कैन मूव दैट आल्सो विल बी एन एग्जांपल ऑफ पोजिशनल आइसोमेरिज ऑलराइट नाउ आई विल गो फॉर कीटोन पेंटान टू ओम This is pentane three O. So these are the example of the positional isomers. You want to write? Or let it be like this. Hello. Huh? I will write. I will copy it, sir. Okay, copy. Can you see? Light gone means broadband problem. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, our network is too much. Our network is too much. Now, can you come now? আপনি স্যার ক্যামেরাটা একটু ঘুরিয়ে নিন মোবাইলটা একটু খানি ঘুরিয়ে নেন আর একটু না এটা উল্টো দিক উল্টো দিক উল্টো হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে বন্ধ করা বন্ধ করা লাগছে স্যার টুডে নো টু ডু টেক ওয়ে আই টু আস্ক ইউ ওকে নাও দ্যাট আই দ্য থার্ড ওয়ান Functional isomerism. Functional isomerism. Okay. Is that enough? Then see here. Suppose I have written this. What is this? This is propanal. Then this is propanol. See all aldehydes and ketones, whatever the formula you write, they show. I mean, minimum carbon should be three only. It will show functional isomerism. <clears throat> Okay. Now we we'll go for metamerism. Ketones only ketones show metamerism. Any functional group which occurs within the chain show metamerism. Only ketones show. meta what is meta i think you forgot it is shown by any functional group which occurs within the carbon chain okay what type of functional group occurs within the carbon carbon chain see here ketone okay then ethers then ah <clears throat> uh, esters esters Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
A means. A means has no loss of value in the chain, it will be outset also. Okay, forget. This is the definition. Hmm. So, just now I have given you this example for positional isomer, but this is also a metamer. See here, we are right hand side, you have three carbon, left hand side, you have two carbon. Okay, it is pentan to own. Now, this is the functional group. So, if, it's, if one of the methyl group comes to the left hand side, then we have two here and two here. So, this is an example of metamerism. Please remember. Okay, so this pentan 2 ohm and pentan 3 ohm are metamers. They are metamers. Okay, now I'll show one more. Somehow this is not being given in your book. This is called totomerism. So what is totomerism? It is a special type of functional isomerism where the isomers are in dynamic equilibrium. Totomerism. Totomerism. Okay, so it is a special type of functional isomers. All isomers are rigid, they don't change their structure, but this one they change. Functional isomerism where the functional isomers are in dynamic equilibrium right right fast fast huh? no time I saw Mr. Moinak Bhattacharya is there. Hello, Moinak. Yes, sir. Ah, very good. Good, good morning. morning, sir. Ah, achha. Then, uh, Lavan. Hello. Lavan is there. What happened? Few days I found Lavan is absent. Hey, one son, you take care of Lavan. But one son is there or not? Hello, one son. One son. Huh? Sleeping. Very good. Daniel. Return. Metabolism, then <coughs> totomerism. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we'll write the example of totomerism. Okay. <coughs> See here. CH3, CO, CH3. Okay. What is this? This is acetone or propanone. Okay, I'll write it little. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we take key like sir. It is a it is a it is a it is a totomerism. It is a special type of functional isomerism. Sir, could we reflect what you are doing? Is it? Uh, yes, sir. All right now. Huh? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Studio is not correct. Huh? But if the light reflects on my face, then I should look very fair. Hmm? Because most of the time when video is there, no, I'm not visible because of my complexion. Huh? It is a special type of functional isomerism where the functional isomers are in dynamic equilibrium. Okay, see here. This is residual not propano. So if it, if it has alpha hydrogen, what will happen? It will move from this carbon to this oxygen. Okay, please remember. Protomerism occurs by the migration of proton. And resonance occurs by the migration of electrons. Remember. See, this is the structure. The distinct difference between resonance and totomerism. Totomerism occurs by the migration of proton and the resonance occurs by the migration of electron. Okay, see here. What is the name of this? In this case, it is prop 1 and 2 or. So, this is an unsaturated alcohol. All right. So, this form of protomerism is called keto. And this is called enol. See, this E and I have taken from double bond, and OL I have taken from here. So, because of this, this type of protomerism is also known as keto enol. Toto and they are called eternal totomars. Okay, somehow in your textbook it is not there. No problem. Hmm. It is not necessary that you should write everything. <clears throat> okay. So now we go for general methods for preparation of LDH and ketone. We will try to prepare. Huh? Uh, the summary I'm going to send you in that case, I have written it separately. Okay. But here it is common. Hmm. Please finish. From BSF school, most of them persons are absent. Acha, Eugenia is there? Yes, sir. Yes. Others, are, no, no, Kubar. I think I don't know whether they have, are sleeping or studying. I do not know. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, BSF students, Eugenia, you take care. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, and tell them if they do not attend the class, I'm going to send them to COVID centers. Okay, sir. Hmm. This is the only punishment. They thought lockdown is only for locking their eyes and sleeping. The Empire and Hanani are present. Oh, Empire and Hanani is also there. Huh? Yes, sir. That's always better. Boys are useless. Okay, sir. So, <laughs> <Sam> I'm <has> a boy. <laughs> My manager is very smart. Hmm. <clears throat> so now, see, we we'll go for general methods for preparation. Uh, what will say in Kasi general method for preparation? Hmm? Okay, you tell me later on. Think it. Preparation of LDHs and ketones. 
See, I told you that I'm not going to prepare like a foolish. Huh. This is my compound. Okay, forget. Okay, this. I have to prepare this. So the from market, what should I buy? Huh? <clears throat> Anything I can make in two ways, either from one compound or by joining one more than one compound. Okay? So let us take only one compound. See. I try to get a. I will try to get something from the market where R is bonded to C and C is bonded to O. Always think in this way. The life becomes very easy, unnecessary. Don't make your life complicated. Okay, but we cannot get a compound like this. Why? With the valency of carbon should be four and oxygen should be two. Here the valency of two is two and oxygen is one, and we know such compound does not exist. But this is our framework. All right. So in that case, let me add some flesh into it. Okay. This is the one. If I add some flesh into it, how does it look like? Do you ha have you seen any molecule like this? Have you seen? Hmm? No, sir. Hello? What is this called? This molecule is called what? What do you call this molecule? Mtipne? Hello? Miss Hanania? Have you seen this molecule earlier? Okay. Only few days back I taught you. This is alcohol. And what type of alcohol it is? It is primary alcohol. This primary alcohol. See, now if I remove this one, what do you get? Do you not get this one? If you remove these two hydrogen, then the carbon is going to form double bond with oxygen. By that way, the valence of carbon will be four. See here. And this is the other hydrogen what we have here. So removal of hydrogen is called what? What is the name of removal of hydrogen? Huh? Dehydrogenation. Removal of hydrogen can be done by two methods. You are correct only. Huh? We, we, two methods are there. Either we can remove hydrogen just like that, then we call it dehydrogenation. And if I remove the hydrogen along with oxygen, then they are going to form water. So in that case, we call it oxidation. Clear? So our first method is first method is oxidation oxidation of primary alcohol. See, these are the property I have discussed thoroughly in your alcohol chapter. And I told you the advantage of organ is that properties of one molecule is the preparation of other. Okay, so oxidation of primary alcohols. So I write here now O, and this is the here I'm going to have to write LDH. So I'll write it again. So let us first know the theory, then we'll do the practice. But we I have told you that LDHs are very, very sensitive for oxidation. Forget about any reagent. If you keep your dehyde outside on an open container on your table, come after two, three hours, you'll find a part of it is being oxidized to carboxylic acid. But we do not want carboxylic acid. We only want aldehydes. So in this case, we'll take some mild oxidizing agents, which does not carry out this second oxidation. Second oxidation should be stopped. So in that case, we have always already come across some re specific reagents which stops functioning after the preparation of aldehydes. So we'll write now here. Using mild chromium-6. Chromium-6 means what? Oxidation state. Using mild chromium-6 
oxidizing agents such as pyridinium. Now you have to remember pyridinium chlorochromate. Such a long name, na? So in that case, you find this is being abbreviated as PCC. All right. Now, what is this formula? Formula you don't have to remember, huh? but only for your entrance exam, I'm writing it for you. See, this, I'm writing flat, huh? This molecule is called pyridine. When you say pyridinium, means I have to put one H here. Like ammonia is NH3, ammonium is NH4. Then CrO3Cl minus. Okay, so this is called pyridinium chlorochromate. So I write it like this. This. And this is like this. Pyridinium chlorochromate. Or pyridinium dichromate. Okay. Now, how do oh, we call it PDC? PDC. How does it look like? See, dichromate ion is. Valency or charge on dichromate ion is two. So obviously, there should be two molecules. Okay, I'll write this here. Mm -hmm. And Cr2, O7, 2 minus. This is called pyridinium dichromate. Acha, wait, wait, wait. Huh? For entrance exam, this is known as porous. Kore's reagent. Okay? Because Mr. Kore from Germany has made it. Kore's reagent. This is absolutely for entrance exam. Okay? Those who do not want to appear entrance exam, forget. Okay. Then, Collins. I know that push push bottle or Collins. Or, Choline Seret, S E R E T T, Seret's reagent. Okay, what is that? This is nothing but they take a mixture of pyridine, two equivalent, along with chromium trioxide. Or Jones oxidizing agent. These I'm giving okay only for entrance exam. Oxidizing agent. What is that? Nothing. See, all the cases they are using chromium and oxidation state of chromium here is six, here is six, here is six. Here instead of pyridine, they use concentrated sulfates. CrO3 plus concentrated H2SO4. But one condition is there. You cannot use water as a solvent. So we write in anhydrous solvent. So in solvent you can use either dichloromethane or chloroform. So we write here now. CH2, Cl2, or CHCl3 give corresponding aldehydes. Okay? So this portion you write, others you will forget. Okay? Corresponding aldehydes. I don't know how to make this online classes interesting for you. Okay. I think in future I'll 
request Salman Khan to take it. I write the script because that fool he does not know anything about chemistry. Okay, so I give him the script and he will take your class. Huh? I'm trying to contact him. Okay, would you like the class taken by him? Hmm? Yes, what about no reply? Hmm? So uh, now I'll write this equation again. All these things I have given in your alcohol chapter. Have you have you gone through this uh, uh, the summary of alcohol phenol ethers I have given to you? Did you read? I have sent it now. That PDF file. Huh? Hello, Miss Aditi Kashyap. Yes, sir. Really, did so you I haven't read the, the, so ah, I haven't yeah. read the whole thing. Then give it to your mother, she will read. Right. Now finish. Written. Muna, any problem with my handwriting? Done, sir. Done. Gonzal, let her. Can I rub it? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. So, what I write now here? So, so many reagents I'm not going to use. Huh? I will only use for your convenience this. And I write like this. And this is I'm going to write PCC here. And what is the solvent? CH2Cl2. Okay? For your convenience sake, generally. I never teach a chemistry like this, huh? but for several cases, I'm have to write. See here, H2O. So you will get aldehydes. So now let me give some specific molecule. Suppose I have taken here ethanol and I have oxidized it with PCC. What do we get now here? So I'll get here now. I'll get this. So this ethanol will give you ethanol or S E D height. Now this is an aromatic aldehyde. I can make aromatic aldehyde also from the other. Yeah? What I'll do? I'll take an alcohol like this. This is called. Benzyl. I told you, you know this group is called benzyl. It's called benzyl alcohol. What will be the IPC name? No problem. Me. This is this is substitution. It's one carbon system. This is the main chain. We will call it phenyl methanol. Okay. So here also I will do oxidation with PCC and dichloromethane. This is of course. Dichloromethane and carbon tetrachloride government has banned to be used in industry because they are found to be carcinogenic. Hmm. But enter my research career for 10 or 12 years, I have used few hundred liters of dichloromethane. What to do? 
I did not know all these things. See, you, you will get here now, benzaldehyde. Jaldi karo. Right, right. Moment you finish, you tell them, tell me. Dancer. Okay. Now, see what is the advantage of PCC, huh? Please write down. I'm telling you PCC, right? The PCC can even oxidize an unsaturated alcohol. into an unsaturated aldehyde. PCC can oxidize an unsaturated primary alcohol. Please do correction. Unsaturated primary alcohol to corresponding unsaturated aldehyde without oxidizing right like this without oxidizing carbon carbon double bond So if you use, use other oxidizing agent, they may oxidize the double bond, PCC does not. This is the advantage. We can prepare unsaturated aldehydes. Okay. Now what is the name of this? One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> See, actually, his common name is protyl alcohol, protyl. But I know you will not be able to remember. So forget. This is called, see, what should I? <laughs> Or this is called, what is the IPG name? One, two, three, four. So we will call it Biot 2EN AL Butina. Okay. So this is called Crotonaldehyde. Crotonaldehyde. Okay. Forget this is called, see, one, two, three, four. This is called prop to enal this is important for your exam Finish. Yeah. 
Yes. Sir. Okay, then write it now. Right below. <clears throat> Two. Oxidation of secondary alcohols. Oxidation of secondary alcohols either by either by weak within bracket you write PCC comma PDC etc. Close the bracket or strong oxidizing agents within bracket you write acidified Na2Cr2O7 means sodium dichromate comma K2Cr2O7 means potassium dichromate. Comma. Oh, can you please repeat? Written acidified Na2Cr2O7 written. Na2Cr2O7. Uh, comma. K2Cr2O7. Repeat. Hello. My Bluetooth is working on. Ah, uh -huh. okay. You can get to see it Then go comma right. CRO three chromium trioxide. Close the bracket. What did you write? I forgot. Just tell me the sentence. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hmm. Tell me the sentence that I've told you. Oxidation of secondary alcohol either by with PCC or PDC or strong oxygen. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, right. Give corresponding ketones. Give corresponding ketones. Okay, so I'll write like this R one O eight R two eight. See, this is secondary alcohol. So I'll oxidize it. Okay, so I can write here PCC CH two Cl two. Or in your book, they have not given this one. So you can write here now K2Cr2O7, KMNO4. Then here you write H2SO4. So what will happen? <clears throat> so in this case, you'll find. It will be like this. You we'll get now here R1, PO, R2. So you get here ketone. Plus, you get here H2. Okay, so I'm going to give you some specific examples for this one. Clear? Yeah. So I write now here H, H, H. What is this? This is called isopropyl alcohol you call it isopropyl alcohol because OH is on the second class. What is this IPC name? It is propan to oil. All right. So here I'll write O. Here I'm going to write K2Cr2O7 or KMNO4. 
H2SO4, see, gone. So what we'll get now here? P3PO3. It is called acetone or propane. Plus, we'll get here water. So, 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 plus, plus. Right below now, note this you should know because LDH we are using mild oxidizing agent in ketone. Why you are using strong oxidizing agents? That should be reason. Question may be there. So, right note right, unlike LDH, unlike LDH. Ketones do not undergo further oxidation to corresponding carboxylic acid. Unlike aldehyde. Ketones do not undergo further oxidation to corresponding carboxylic acids under Ordinary conditions. Stop. Hence, strong oxidizing agent. Can be safely used or answer hence strong oxidizing agent can safely be used yeah, sorry something is not nice can be used safely can be used safely Okay. Now write next. Like third. Right now. Dehydrogenation. Everything you read in the goal chapter. Dehydrogenation. of alcohol right when vapors of aldehydes and ketones when vapors of aldehydes and ketones are passed over
When vapors of LD, L, primary and secondary alcohol, when vapors of primary and secondary alcohols are passed over copper or silver, in your book they do not give silver, copper or silver catalyst. at 573 Kelvin undergo dehydrogenation to form corresponding aldehydes corresponding aldehydes and ketones respectively See here we did not use any only oxidizing agent. So hydrogen goes out as hydrogen gas. Okay, so this goes out. So you get LDH. This we have already discussed in, in our alcohol property. Okay. So now if I have taken here ethanol. Okay. And if I pass it over hot catalyst, see what is going to happen here? We go out and you will get here. You get here now. This is ethanol and this is ethanol. See, this is one of the industrial method of or commercial method of preparation of LDS in large scale. And here cost, cost is very less. Because at least you can use it for a long time. Now, this is aliphatic LDS. If I am to prepare aromatic LDS, no problem. Huh? So, instead of ethanol, I will pass benzyl alcohol so if I have taken here benzyl alcohol and is vapor if I pass it over copper and or silver at 573 Kelvin, what is going to happen? See, you we'll go out. So what we're going to get? We we'll get here now benzyl dehyde. And hydrogen will go out as hydrogen gas. Then I'll be happy. Done. Done, na? Okay. So this is my primary alcohol. If I go for secondary alcohol, see here. If I go for secondary alcohol, this is secondary alcohol. So what do you get here now? 
this R and R will remain. So this you will get here ketone. Okay. Now see if I have taken here isopropyl alcohol. Iso propyl alcohol. So what you get here now? CH3. So you get ketone. This is called acetone or propanone. So we can prepare large amount of amount of very important industrial solvent acetone from isopropyl alcohol. They are, these days that the hand sanitizer that we are using, actually you are supposed to use isopropyl alcohol. Okay, but isopropyl alcohol is a little costly. So company are very clever in our country. In our country, there is no ethics. Hmm. Everybody here is there to cheat us. So they have prepared ethanol. Ethanol is cheaper than isopropyl alcohol. But actually you are supposed to use isopropyl alcohol. So you get here acetone or propan. All right, right. Now, a preparation which I'm going to do is not nowhere in your textbook, but I'm doing only for your entrance exam. Okay, so should I do or should I do at the end? You suggest. Should I do initially uh, the preparation from your textbook? Yes, I hmm? just follow the textbook, sir. I tell it loudly, you know, I am short of hearing. I become old also. Follow the textbook, sir. That would be easy for us. Huh? I don't know, male voices are very soft. Female voices, I can hear you very strange. Uh, Eugenia, you tell, I can hear you. Should I do initially the textbook one and uh, later on I should do the separate uh, other? Hmm? No, oh, cha, cha, cha. All right, all right. Then, right, four. Right. Right, from, from calcium salts of carboxylic acid. Calcium salts of carboxylic acid. Okay? Preparation number four. Then you write that. A. Right. Preparation of Formaldehyde right now here when calcium formate is strongly heated. Give formaldehyde. See here. <clears throat> Calcium, first of all, you should know what is formic acid. This is formic acid. Okay. You know acid and base form salts. If I add calcium hydroxide to formic acid, I'll get calcium formic. So now this is this is calcium formate salt okay calcium for me all right when you heat it strongly what is going to happen see here 
the molecule of calcium carbonate will go. What is going to happen? This hydrogen will shift here. So, in that case, what you will get? You will get here calcium car carbonate and you will get here formaldehyde. So, heat. Uh, heating is very dangerous thing in our life. Huh? You also find that when the situation in your house gets heated up, then you do everything. Formaldehyde. So, आजकल तो क्या ही सुना ना बाबूल सुना है यूँ हो जाए अम्मी ऊपर बहुत बड़ा नहीं पड़े मौसी सांप पड़ा सी आप तो अभी फसल नहीं रही है ओ आजकल तो तुम्हारे साथ है किन्हीं Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Very good. Then write B. We will write here. Preparation of ketones. Any ketone. When calcium Salt of any carboxylic acid. Will you be back and you write? Except formic acid. Ah. Is Heated strongly give corresponding ketones. Okay, so we write like this one calcium C, CO, R. O, C, O, R. Okay? This C, R is not equal to H. If R becomes H, it becomes calcium formate. Heat. Okay, what is going to happen again? A molecule of calcium carbonate will go. This R will migrate here. So what you are going to get? You will get here. Calcium carbon. I don't know why in your book they have not given. Uh, in laboratory, so we make some unknown ketones by this method. Okay? To get a ketone. To make it simple, they are made it more complicated. Okay? So, I'll take a specific example. I said, Miss Rao is there. Yes. It is a calcium salt of acetic acid. Calcium acetate. Okay? If you heat it, what you will get here, calcium carbonate, you get acetone. 
Then you don't prepare acetone in the body like this because we have, we have much cheaper method. But there are some, some unusual ketones are there, which you normally cannot prepare. But its carboxylic acids are available in the market. So we make the calcium salt and we heat it. Immediately we'll get, when you heat it such strongly, the acetone will distill out. Pure ketone you'll get on distillation. I have myself prepared for several ketones in the laboratory by this method in my research lab. Finished. I'll do one more preparation. Today I'm going to have gone very slow. I think next tomorrow I'll to go a little faster. This chapter is very big. I may take around two weeks time to finish this one. I mean it's very small. After I mean then I'll go to biomolecules. I don't know because I did not uh, get enough students for class 11, whether class 11 I start or not, I'm not, don't know. If I take class 11, then you'll have three days class. And if I don't, then you'll have six days class. So you have to... Hello? Ah. Then write C. C here. In this preparation, by first method, we got only L formaldehyde. Second method, we can prepare any ketone. But we till now we did not get any method by which we can prepare any aldehyde. Okay? So now I'm going to show you. Right. See, when a mixture of calcium formate and calcium salt of any carboxylic acid, acid R is heated strongly corresponding LD height R of team. Okay. So I'm going to write this one in little different way.
this is calcium formate okay and this is the salt of any other carboxylic acid other than formate so what has we write now here r is not equal to h so when you hit it what is going to happen see here here also calcium carbonate will go out all right so let me write it now here so one calcium carbonate what is going to happen this hydrogen will come here now and a molecule of calcium carbonate see calcium calcium c 1 2 3 carbonate so this r will migrate yeah this r will go here so what we are going to get to get here now two molecules of calcium carbonate and two molecules of Okay, up to this much is all right. Sumnath. Yes, sir. Ask your chapter of the Ashlo. Ask your name, the Kawachi, Akono Baijun. 